During Lieber's tenure as the director of the Department of Conservation, he was able to see 10 state parks join the system of state parks that he had so dreamed of for so long. And one of the very last ones to become a state park was Brown County, where he had first declared that Indiana should start a state park system to preserve the beauty of the vistas like he was seeing at Brown County. There are intrinsic values in wild areas, natural areas, that are good for the heart and good for the soul. Get acquainted with those. You'll sleep well at night. Well, see how quiet it is right here? That's what I go out for. We have four generations now that have used this park. Then we decided our kids should see Indiana from top to bottom because this state has it all. So uh, we made sure that our kids got to camp in almost all the parks. In all the years I've been here, it's been a real treat to, to hear these stories from people who come here year after year after year. It's a tradition. So you watch these family gatherings and it, it's, it's a home for many people. When a person visits this park, they really need to slow down and appreciate the uniqueness of this place. It's something you can't experience anyplace else in Indiana and hardly anyplace else in the country. Many of our visitors say that our state park system is one of the finest in the nation. Why did we come to be that way? For me, the only answer could be because we had a visionary like Richard Lieber, and because of his efforts and his devotion, we have such a fine state park system in Indiana.